Technology continues to be a 9 out of 10 impact, we think, as far as poise for change for the industry. Talk to me about how you think it's going to continue to influence the companies and how they're going to be taking that on in 2017. Once again, we have technology ranked quite high, 9 out of 10 for, for the life insurance industry. And that's really driven by two key points. Uh, the first is with respect to its fundamentally redefining the value proposition, the core value proposition of the life insurance. And what we mean by that is the push for digital, the push for customer centricity is requiring a complete overhaul of platforms and supporting technology in order to deliver on that promise. The second piece of this is actually redefining what enterprise systems are needed to be in place to support that journey and evolution. This ranges everything from analytics to core processing environments and of course to other enabling technologies like robotics. It continues to be significant investment for platforms to support future ambitions and growth. We hear the term robotics a lot, but what does that really mean for them? Like how do you think that that's really going to impact them? as the insurance. Listen, ro robotics is nothing more than very sophisticated scripting logic that looks for repeatable processes within the back office of traditional insurers, banks, and other financial institutions. And it allows significant change with a very low technology footprint. And it actually, it's a business-led versus a traditionally complex IT-led agenda. Robotics is nothing more than taking the robot out of the human and allowing a piece of software to do it quite easily and repeatedly. One of the other things we hear a lot about is the customer focus and the change in that customer focus. And how do you think that's going to continue to progress in 2017? Well, I'll somewhat go back to the, the previous question you asked about changes from technology. I think we're seeing a lot of investment on that front today because the entire shift to customer centricity is changing how organizations think about their value proposition and what it is they're putting into the marketplace. Consumers have changed, the expectations have changed. Um, we hear a lot about retail organizations and others in terms of supporting the digital experience. Well, financial services are quick to adapt as well and need to adapt, and, and the insurance sector is not immune from it as well. Those demands are not going to cease. Customers are expecting a lot more self-service, self-directed, and, and self-initiated expectations and, and transactions, and that's gonna need to be supported going forward.